So is a CS degree worth it? You think I was told that a lot of it would be made irrelevant by AI. Let me tell you right now, there's so many people that use AI to do their schoolwork for CS right now. It is sh AI code is sh it's garbage. Maybe way in the future, it could be good. I don't think it will be anytime soon. I had had people submit things to me previously where they used AI and I would do code review and look over it and go, this is sh and then I would fire that person or tell them, if you can't make this yourself, you're not allowed to do this work. And that's it. So if you use it for a test, you're learning nothing. You're going to be a sh programmer. And when you go to get a job, there are going to be people who learned how to do these things without it, and they're going to get the job over you. Or maybe the person hiring you doesn't know the difference. And as long as it works, it functions. So they hire you. But later down the line, you will have an issue. Also, yeah, a lot of the time when you get a job in, in you know, using a CS degree in some way, you end up falling into a position that gets more and more specific over time. And there will be so many things that you are going to have to learn that AI will not be able to do because it hasn't been trained to do that thing. And you will then realize that you don't understand a lot of basic concepts about this stuff and they're not really ingrained in your brain because you used AI the whole time. And then when you try to learn something new, you're going to feel like you're at still at a low college level and you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm an idiot. You're going to feel stupid. <laughs> it's really bad. It's doing you a huge disservice. <laughs> you said VPs can't read codes. So they don't know how bad it is. It's true. It's true. But eventually something will break and you won't be able to fix it. And then you will get fired for it. I've seen it happen. You use AI for unit tests. That's so stupid it shouldn't be allowed i think if you want to use it in the workplace after you've demonstrated that you know how to do it i have no problem with someone using it as an assisting tool but to allow students to use it on a test and not display that they know how to do it without it is really bad because then when they're going in and fixing something a lot of your work as a programmer as a developer is not just building stuff it's going in and fixing things that already exist so if you cannot do code review on that and just piece together what needs to change because you're used to ai just building a thing for you you're you're a lot of real life work you're not going to be able to do. Obviously, it depends on what kind of company you're in. Some companies, they build everything. That's cool. But typically, when you're brought into a company to do upkeep on anything or maintenance, you know, you, you are, you're working on something that someone else built. Okay. And you cannot use AI to adjust that if it up every time. And I think it's not enough of a good tool to save people that much time yet. I've looked at it. I've looked into it very heavily. And it just... <sighs> You spend so much time going back over it and code reviewing it and then changing things around that it would have been faster to just do it yourself, honestly. You were recently hiring for a programmer and you rejected so many people who were clearly just copy pasting from chat GPT in the interview. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think interviews need to be calls. I think we need to revert to you sit there and call the person. So they have to sit there and answer you in real time. And I know that takes more man hours. I know that kind of sucks, but I would, I would love to see us because of AI revert to more personal interviewing. And you know, people will use chat GPT and you'll do a written thing and call people and take the ones that sound good. But um, yeah, if people know that they have to do a practical in-person interview a little sooner than like when you're about to get the job, like one step beforehand, I think that'll weed a lot of them out. Said so you have to get three apprentices back up to speed because someone in management wasted a year of their time on chat GPT. They can't program for sh No. Oh, I know. It's bad. I wonder if some sort of cottage mm. industry of in-person interview centers will spring up. That exists already. So basically, th these are staffing companies. You will find someone who does staffing and you will say, I have these positions. I need people who do these things. And then they, they will pull from a huge list of resumes and people that they've kept in a database that they have interviewed or at least gotten a preliminary screening of and then start interviewing those people for it and then give you those people. That exists and you, you can just pay for that. That has actually been around for a long while. I've actually worked in that. I have worked as being someone that vets people through a company like that before as like a side thing a while back. It's annoying. <laughs> this is this is why I feel so strongly about like like how people come out of college with CS degrees, right? And and what they do right after that. And I have so much to say on like the education of it is because I spent time doing that for a while. And um oh it's <laughs> it's so bad. I've been brought in as an SME to go and, you know, be that guy kind of doing some complex hiring for some really like specific roles. So that's why I've done that sort of thing. And oh man it's terrible. Test should be the last thing you let on ver verified AI code handle. Yeah. Yeah, I like this comment. You said for AI, it's useful for setting up a scaffold for certain things sometimes, but yeah, in the end, you need to integrate everything. Yeah, exactly. I, I, that's why I was saying, like, I think it can be used as an assisting tool, but you can't just let it generate something and then put it in front of someone and go, I made this or like me and my tool made this. It's good. Like there's still so much human review that has to happen depending on what you're using it for. And it just, um, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's just not worth it. You end up spending so much time. And the thing is, if it did something right and you review it and it looks okay, you saved yourself time. But if it didn't do things right, you review the code that it made and it's not okay. And you have to redo things or piece stuff together 
together, you often waste so much more time doing that and the the review process was useless you should have just built it so it's really hit or miss honestly you're trying to add ai into your qa process you tested it and it <laughs> you tested it in as a pilot it literally takes more time to test with ai i know i've done that i've been asked to okay here's a here's a thing that i've done before here's i'll, I'll directly tell you one work project that i've done i was testing whether or not using AI to QA a certain thing was more or less efficient and then advising a company on whether or not they should continue using this AI to assist in QA. I was essentially brought in to audit that process, right? And advise if this was a yes or no. It was terrible. It was terrible. It added double the time. Yeah, you have to QA everything that the AI QAs, exactly. When it found that something was wrong, it could not explain why it was bad properly in any actionable way. This is why you have people who do QA because one of their main skill sets is being able to articulate what is wrong and to who they're a subject matter expert that can then tell a developer what's wrong. Maybe they are not a developer themselves, but they know how to articulate it. That's why they were brought in for QA, right? Or they're an employee in the company. They're using some product that you were making and you say, you're an employee, do your day-to-day, -day, but use this tool and then tell me what you think. You want that person using it, not an AI that has not worked this job for years, right? It just, pff, I, ugh. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it was so bad. And that, that audit, at least in this case that I was auditing, it was, the results were bad. The results were bad. Really f bad. That's all. And, uh, you know, I do genuinely, I hope it gets better. I hope it becomes a very usable tool. I would love if it were that good. I would love if that were good. There's still, there's still issues that come along with it getting that good, but I, I would love if it could be. I think I want it not at all or for it to be good. I don't like this in between, like it's not good yet people are still pretending it is kind of phase. I, I really hate that. <laughs>